Welcome to coverage of the 2022 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships. From Madison, Wisconsin, it's Grant Zellner and Jennifer Allen. It's been an amazing week here and 320 women of all ages from all over the United States and the world. So hope you enjoy. This is our 15 and under group. Yeah, emphasizing that from all ages, part of your description there, showing you the future of disc golf here this afternoon. And there you have the leaderboard after round number one. Teresa, Teresa and Kayla leading the way, Ava and Caitlin rounding out the card. My name is Trez Kovas and my PGA number is 162896. Pretty good. I'm tied for first, so that's good. I think as long as I do as good as I did yesterday, I should be fine. Yesterday, I think I could have gotten a couple more birdies. I hope to get those today. I didn't get to practice it before, but now I know it a little more, so hope to do better. I think that'd be really cool to go FPO. I'm going to Junior World, so that's gonna be fun. Hi, my name's Caitlin. My PDGA number is 98690. Excited, I'm ready to play. It's been fun. I like being able to learn new stuff and meeting new people on the courses. It's been nice being able to see women getting into the sport more since they definitely don't have as big of a group as the men, so it's nice being able to see them get into it. Worlds in two weeks, I believe, one week, something like that. I hope to become pro one day, yeah, that'll be cool. Hi, my name is Kayla Hess, PDJ number 133513. I'm feeling good. My round yesterday was pretty good. I'm tired for the lead, so it's nice to have that reassurance, but definitely don't want to be giving up strokes, and it's nice to know that there's still room to improve on my round from yesterday. There were complications with me getting here this week, so I was able to get here Wednesday, and I played the course once, and I absolutely love it out here. Um, I'm from PA, and we have a lot more wooded courses, so it's nice to have something that's more open, and I can really rip some drives out here, which I always like to do. I like playing the um, bigger events in junior divisions, but obviously the goal is to continue getting better and get to FPO eventually. Hi, I'm Ava and my PDGA number is 83000. Slightly overwhelmed, but I'm excited. I'm back by four strokes, but if I play like I did in my practice rounds, I can make all four strokes up. I did it a few years ago when it was in Michigan, and I was the only one in my division, so I won, but it's really great. It's grown a lot in the last few years. It's exciting because you get to see people who you can compare yourselves to and you can see a place that you could get to in your disc golf career. I want to look towards being a pro, that's where I want to get eventually, but I like being a junior for now. After this, we are going to Junior World, and then we are going to Great Lakes Open, Northwest Arkansas Open. That one's always really fun to go to. Okay, we're starting here on hole number one. This is a par three, 225 feet. Looks like these women are gonna just shoot it straight up the gap, a little bit of an incline. So that's gonna maybe play a little bit more like 240, 250 for them. Looks a little breezy. We've been having a various of winds this week. Mm -hmm. Wind up and down throughout the day, especially early in the day. for the lead card of the junior girls, 15 and under. <laughs> First on the tee, Kayla Hess. Yeah, a little bit turned over, but that's going to be a great spot. They're just trying to progress as far as they can up the fairway. I'm curious how the weights of the disc that these girls are throwing. Mm -hmm. 
I've seen a lot of these girls out at several events um, over the years, so I'm, I'm actually really excited to watch this myself. I'm as well, Kayla, catching a late tree, but hopefully we'll have an opportunity to straddle out. And how cool is it to see several of them already with sponsors on their shirts? It just shows the growth of the sport. Ava, well known. She has been supporting women's disc golf for years. Always coming out and cheering on FPO, giving us so many little goodies. So big good luck to her. She gets that a little nose up. So that's going to drift it off, but a great rollout. I recognize Ava. I have seen her around. Yeah, that must be a little bit of a crosswind because uh, several of those, you know, pulled over there to that right tree. That's a great shot. Everybody coming up the fairway and Caitlin to play first. Ooh, good punch out. Wow. That was awesome. Shot. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. These girls don't even look nervous. I know. They're so focused, determined, probably, hopefully, a lot more excitement than nerves. Spoiler alert, with FPO still gets nerves as well, <laughs> so I would not be surprised if they were nervous, but they look very excited. Kayla making her way up the fairway. Here's Teresa. Great putt, saving par. Good job, Caitlin, that's a good start. These girls already look professional. I think that's a page copy there a little bit. It was just a little bit. A and little, little page-like. Correcting myself from earlier, Therese yes. now finishing out here on hole number one. Yes, I've seen Therese play out in California multiple events. Also a, a, a teammate of mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not too early to have teammates in high places. Kayla and Therese matching each other through the first hole, moving on to hole number two, 264 feet, this par three. Sort of a side hill all the way down the fairway, watching out for those rollaways off to the right, and the basket here tucked a little bit to the right. Yeah, the courses that we've been playing definitely were lefty or forehand friendly, so I'm curious to see if this one is as well. This whole um, reminds me of some of the courses that we've been playing. A few little guardian trees that they have to navigate around. And Kayla leads the way. Yeah, let that go just a little bit late. They're getting some nice little kicks out. Yeah, and then again, I kind of mentioned this with um, even our FPO 40 division. When you know that the hole is going to finish to the right, sometimes in your head, you that's kind of the last thought. And so you try to force the disc over there to the right. Ava plays it much better angle, allowing the disc to work to the right instead of trying to force it. And she's going to get past most of those trees there. A little bit of ground play there. Caitlin, love that run up. Really spun everything out right there. Gets a little bit of an unfortunate roll though. Really like the commitment though. I love the routine. Everybody in their routine. 
Yeah, this is definitely the not not the first time that these girls have played <laughs> golf. They've been probably playing for years, which is crazy to think. Great approach. Excellent upshot by Caitlin there. Here's to Reese. Yeah, she's got a little bit more work to do to get over that. Perfect nice. shot. <laughs> They're making this look so easy, it's fun. Ava from a little bit outside the circle. That was a good bid though. I think she liked it. It's nice to know that they appreciate it, even though it doesn't go in, it did what they wanted it to do. Kayla off the top of the basket. Here's Therese. Great putt. You have some of these as my doubles partner. I want some of these ladies as my doubles partner. Solidly in for par there for Caitlin. Nothing wrong with starting the first couple holes with some star frame pars. I thought they all had it. They, they played it very well. So unfortunately, one bogey. Kayla tapping in there. So Therese with the outright lead. Okay, we're here to hole number three. It's a par three, 342 feet. Looks like we're going downhill this time, so hopefully the girls um, will enjoy that throw a little bit more than those last two were a little bit of an uphill incline. So they're gonna play downhill hill all the way, just a little bit to the left. No OB on this, ooh, that looks like some OB lines. Maybe just a little bit of OB in that tall grass right behind the basket. So we'll see if that comes into play. Therese off first, full commitment. That was a beautiful line and a great drive. Gonna give her a look for two. Wow, there's Ava letting the disc do the work. Perfect shot. Their angle release points are great. They're, they know to throw it way out there to the right, let the disc come back. Full flex of that flight. Everyone's staying clear of that OB as of so far. Another full flex flight. We'll see yeah, if this can she work gets its a way back. A little more turn on that one. It's gonna get all the way down there, maybe just a little bit further to the right of the basket. So Kayla to play first. Ooh, she was going for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Full 50, commitment. 55, 60 footer. Here's Caitlin. And Therese, basket high. Yeah, that was a good bid. That's that's a little timid, you know, release because this OB is right behind there. Ava slams in her birdie. Little work to do, but Therese saves her par. That's a great comeback putt. Mm -hmm. Especially with the basket sitting on a little bit of a mound. It looks like maybe the wind's still blowing a little bit in the trees. Day two was a pretty windy day at most of the courses. Kayla finishes things up, getting back on track. So still that one stroke lead for Therese. Everybody giving chase early on in round number two.
Our card moves on to hole number four, 250 feet, straight away, par three. A little bit of a, a downhill slope that's gonna come back up, so we'll see how the girls handle that. Sometimes that'll get into your head just a little bit, where it looks like it's playing quite a bit uphill, but it's really um, mm -hmm. more just horizontal there. Yeah, the ground kind of comes up to meet the disc, mm -hmm. which is a little bit of an, of an optical illusion sometimes. Although this still looks a little bit uphill. Oh, just catches a little bit of a branch, gonna get most of the distance, it just hyzers it off. Out in the open. Here's Therese. I love that release. She's gonna get all the way up there for a look for birdie. Pin high. Caitlin next, also a good line. Yeah, they're keeping the nose angle down to get all the way up there to the basket. And finally, Kayla. And she follows the exact same line. And they're gonna have a look. Everybody, something to work with here. Ava playing first. Gives it a big jump, and that's gonna be hopefully close enough to tap in that par. Here's Caitlin. Nice confident bid there. Oh, that looks so good right out of her hand. I thought she was gonna be able to chase it in. Plenty of strength on that putt. There's a great birdie. Do you think all the cameras and media, do you think these girls are used to it already? They act like they are. I've noticed everybody really sticking to routines, even on short putts. I love seeing that. That's something everybody watching can learn a little bit of something from, including yours truly. Yeah, they're just tapping these in like it's no big deal. Well played thus far through four holes. Okay, hole number five. This is a par four. The girls are gonna stretch it out 466 feet, getting a downward slope angle all the way around this big tree and tucked up there to the right. Yeah, little, it's, it's little a little bit of work to do once they get up there too. Second shot hole yeah. it looks like. Oh, for sure, going to take two, maybe three to get there. I love it. <laughs> Must be a backup. Everyone has their little things that they do. <laughs> we look at Ava watching. So Maria Oliva mm -hmm. used to compete in with that, yeah. Compete in We'll tell that story games. later. Mm-hmm. Good stop there. All the fun facts you learn about people along the way. Ooh, we want to get out on the left. Gives her a little bit of a kick out, but we want it probably this first shot to land a little bit more to the left so we can approach the basket that's tucked in there on the right. And I'm assuming they're trying to really try to get a full flight out of the disc. Ava was able to sneak by it. Um, but that's something you really don't want to play around with too much when you know everyone's going to have two shots. So get it out there to the front. Try to land a little bit more out to the left. And that's what they're, they're trying to do. They're really just trying. They're, they're looking at this 466 feet and thinking, I've got to throw this as far mm -hmm. as possible. Um, but you want to really kind of pick a landing zone when you you know you have a, a few shots to get to the basket. That one's going to keep her out hopefully a little more to the left. And that's a great drive by Kayla. Thank you. 
Here's Ava up first, able to see into the green complex. Almost making it up the hill. Now it's Reese with a little bit of a different challenge. Yeah, and stretched out like that, it's really hard to get the power and to release it exactly when you want to release it. it kind of throws off the timing a little bit sometimes. It's something you definitely have to practice. This is a great flex shot by Caitlin to give her a look. Pretty much even with the basket there. We'll be looking up those tiers and Kayla. All the way up, she makes it. Fantastic shot there. This is about the same foot positioning as her last one. And unfortunately, that nose angle up is going to hyzer it off down to the left. Hopefully, she can put this one up there. Oh, that's such a hard shot. This is something like a green that we don't see too often. And so that may be a little harder to... You know, pick your angle where you want to release it. I was just thinking that when I saw the various tiers mm -hmm. and especially that big wall, if this is just something that's a little bit unique, it's certainly something I don't see very often. Yeah, you don't see it often. And, you know, these girls aren't very tall, you mm -hmm. know. So for an average, you know, man to play this course, that might not seem that big. But, you know, coming from this a short person right it. here, <laughs> yeah. that that does really come into play, especially if it's windy. Which it, they're looking like it's getting they're getting lucky. It's not too breezy. Ooh, that was a good bid. Trying to save it. The fearlessness of youth. I'm <sighs> loving this. Just Every running sport. everything. Yeah. That is definitely something you can see in any sport. If you can learn it as a child before that fear creeps in. Mm -hmm. Even that right there. Mm -hmm. That that confident it's for double bogey, yeah. but it's we're getting out of she here. She didn't think about it twice. Mm -hmm. Caitlin in for a well-earned par. And Kayla gets the birdie. Well-earned birdie there. That was fantastic. Ava cleans up her par. So that was, I think, a great way to play a par four for these girls. Kayla with a one-stroke lead now on Therese. And we move on to the sixth, 264 foot, back to a par three here. This hole venturing down to the right, where we've got a little bit of, uh, where the, the thick grass here in Wisconsin, occasionally around the baskets especially, sort of goes away and now you're controlling that disc angle coming into what could be a kind of a fast green. Yeah, that's been something we've seen on all the courses. So when you're used to out in the fairway, that disc kind of sticking mm -hmm. and not getting a lot of play, no action, up towards some of these baskets, you really have to be careful. Kayla punching it out there. Unfortunately, looks like she's gonna get stuck by the biggest tree on the course. <laughs> it's always how it happens like one tree in the middle of a fairway and you get it. Ava has a great angle, taking up there nice and high and fading it back towards the basket. She's gonna get most of the way down Basically there. Basically pin high, yeah, yeah, just out to the her left, our right, looking back from the basket. Here's Caitlin. Following Ava's line, but this is gonna hyzer off just a little too much. Hopefully she'll have a place to kind of punch out of there. Yeah, we'll see what kind of a look she's got from over there. Therese. Let's see if Therese can make up and shake off that double bogey. Wow. Well, there's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> she she got some on that long, one. I think. Yeah, she got a hold of that one. She's she was a little upset about that double bogey, I, I think. <laughs> a little bit of heat on it right there. I like I like the uh, attitude though. Get it back. Here's Caitlin. I had like an ultimate spin on it. Nose angle up, so she lost a little distance, but she's gonna have a look at the basket still. She did the no look. Mm-hmm. That's why they don't have fear. And it just perfect nestles right up there under the basket. Don't hit your head. Here's Ava. 
Ava's parents are always out here supporting her as well as all the other women on tour. It's fun to learn all these families along the <laughs> throughout the years. I, I just knew she was going to go between. Just, yeah, I had a only, feeling. That's the only line. The only line. That's the, only the, that's line, the there line was. where you're going to make it. Yeah. Just. It's it's actually kind of fun. I think personally, when you you are in the trees and you do have a small opening, you have to commit and hit that. If you hit your hole, that gap, just mm-hmm. like Therese did, you know that you know you're going to have a good look at the basket. Solid putt to save that bogey, not lose too much here on the sixth. Ava as well. They all have a beautiful putt, every one of them. Kayla going through even a little bit of a routine from 10 feet away. And a drop in for Therese. Hole number seven, par three, 180 feet. So hopefully these girls don't go past the basket because they are crushing some drives. Looks like the basket's just gonna be tucked kind of right in the middle with a few guardian trees around. It appears to be a more approachable on the right side. And all of these women have been right-handed back, backhand, right-hand throwers. <laughs> so hopefully that's gonna get them right to the basket. I'm wondering if you can see the top of the basket from their vantage point. Sometimes it's hard when I'm you're tucked sure. in the shadows. And these are blue band Innova disc catchers. Oh, so, you can. You know, sometimes though it, it is hard to see. Stop. Not too bad there on that roll away. Here's Ava. Such power. She didn't like that she let it go a little high. She knew it. Was asking for a little help there. And got it. Here's Therese. Therese got some power. Hopefully she doesn't go too long. Oh, dear. Yeah, that the tree actually slowed her down, but then unfortunately that roll is not kind. A lot of roots here, some tree stumps, some rocks. Heisering off just a little too soon, but 180 feet, she's going to have a putt. Caitlin oh, off the chains. Such a good putt, too. From the circle. Ava giving it plenty of height, just a little bit to the side. Here's Therese visualizing. Jump it. Yeah, jumping it over this branch. What a fun putt. Go in the basket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Off the front. Those are, those are just fun. You know, it just there's something about like a, a challenging putt like that that just gives you that little ump to get them in. All oh, of them boy. have wonderful looks at birdie. A little bit of metal. I love the stare down. Uh huh. And now Ava leading the way, starting to put what? What's what? what the pizza in the oven? What? I, what? I, I, <laughs> There's a lot that's of that's been them. tossed around a yeah, little bit by that's, that's by one old. gentleman. <laughs> the biscuit in the basket? I don't know. With that roll away, I think that was still a great par. She still almost got the birdie. Mm -hmm. That was a, a mean roll away. Kayla maintains that one stroke lead. Ava in the conversation. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow, give these guys all the love you can to keep them out on the course. $3 a month.
You're looking at hole number eight, 300 feet even. And par three, the length of a football field from end zone to end zone, playing uphill. I've never seen a football field look like that. <laughs> no, just the length of it. I'm kidding. So again, these girls are gonna have to make it back up a pretty steep looking incline, um, but it looks like it's gonna stay flat on top. So once they get up mm. there, they don't have to uh, fear it going off the other side. So we'll see, they've done really good on their angles. Lost that one in the shadow, kind of threw it into the hill and that that's okay. That's probably the, the number one mistake to make. Um, better than getting the nose angle up That's Ava. almost going to make it up there. 300 feet straight up. This is probably playing at least like 360. I would say so, easily. Therese gives it a pull. Going to stay in the short grass. Squirrel jumping out of the tree. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. I noticed that as well. It distracted me for a minute. It, did. it didn't distract Halen, though. No. Right she, up the middle. She has a great shot as well. Yeah, this is a huge hill. Again, you know, when you're shorter, things look a lot, a lot higher. Playing to a basket that's probably 15 feet or, or more up from where they are in the middle of the fairway. Caitlin gets a little bit of ground play there perfectly under the basket. Ava tosses hers up. Tree's gonna give it a height, a little soft bid there. So Kayla to putt first. These girls are just gonna clean it up like it's no big deal. Just let me tap in these pars and move on. I just noticed Ava holds the disc just below her eye yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, she stares if that's it down. Sort of a focus, and then she, yeah, they, they had a great shot of her on that last putt, staring it down right below, you know, the disc there. What cameras? Everybody in for par. Big gallery. We have Justin, amazing photographer there. I mean, they had everybody with them. PDGA was there with them, and they are still battling. We're going to close out this front nine. Hole number nine, par three, 215 feet. Again, pretty straight, simple hole right in the middle. A little bit of guardian tree there on the right. Um, a lot of these girls have been throwing some pretty good flex shots, so I would think they may even try to hang it on this left side and um, try to get it in there and tap off the birdie to close the front nine. Kayla leading things off. Oh, just needed. Oh, oh well, that, I was gonna say needed to avoid that clump no, of trees. No, she but didn't. <laughs> perfect reaction. That was kind of how I thought that some of them, just the way that they had thrown the other holes, would approach it. Uh, Ava puts a little bit of juice on it though, but those trees are gonna kick her up there. She's gonna still have a look for birdie. Therese has a lot of power as well. Let's see if she can sneak around. That that tree might have I helped her as well. These trees tree. are helping these yeah. girls. That Being nice. Her, that saved her probably 10 or 15 feet there. Caitlin needs this to unwind or, or needs get a good tree one kick. One more kick. They need to all just go give these trees some high fives. That's a good approach. That's that's hard to to get the height of that. That was a pretty big incline and go around that tree. It makes you when you're looking up like that. It makes you think you've got to throw it harder, 
And so pretty common mistake to, to let the disc push to the right. Not Therese. Slams it in there. One more birdie for the card for Therese. I love the confidence in these girls putting. Kayla also in for birdie. Yeah, these girls are battling. Two birdies, two pars. We are done with hole number nine, front nine complete. Ava's going to take the time <laughs> to tap that in. Always be careful with those drop-ins. And with that birdie, uh, Therese back to even par for her round and back to just one stroke behind Kayla. Make sure you're following the PDGA here on YouTube, as well as other PDGA channels, so that you don't miss a second of the action here at the 2022 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships.